Fox, an amazing event today with the defenders, the Bronx defenders in the Bronx. We marched from the Supreme Courthouse all the way to the 42nd precinct, chanting, uh, really holding the space. Also, I think a lot of people don't understand why they're very frustrated. Um, they're the lawyers, right? So they're the lawyers who deal with the after effect of the arrest. When people are arrested, we often forget that the next step is jail, or the city jail, or federal system, or the state system, right? And so the most amount of people of color, 80% nationally, are in prison, in jails, but New York has the highest percentage. And so the 42nd Precinct was a part of a team that assaulted lawyers at a peaceful protest the other day in the Bronx, um, and that's not really getting a lot of attention. But also, this is not only today, this was also in Queens, in the Defenders, in Brooklyn, and then they're all meeting up downtown um, on Foley Square. And the purpose of the system of having the lawyers have a voice is that they're defending hundreds of clients, sometimes 50, 60 clients per lawyer. So each one of them, in an extra sense, represent a lot of the community. And they voice their opinions, we had a good speak out, it was a good event. And of course, this is the Bronx, so where we at, loud as hell, Mr. Five, you already know, we make change. Hey, what's up, bro? How you doing? Another day, another state. Today, obviously, we are living in some really hard times right now, but the events that took place last night in Queens, the Bronx, are nothing new. Um, we are seeing the same thing that we saw in Brooklyn, and that's why we are here today. Today, we're going to talk about the lives that have been lost to police brutality. We're here today, obviously, to honor and acknowledge the lives that have been lost to police brutality, um, to stand in solidarity with the Black Lives Matter movement, to stand in solidarity with this community that has in particular um, really, really been um, attacked by the NYPD. The events of this past week have just been horrifying and to hear and witness the stories um, that have come out of the Bronx is just, if we didn't know it happened, if we didn't see it happening, it would be unimaginable. Um, and so we are here just to honor all of the black lives, to acknowledge that all black lives matter, to stand in solidarity, um, with our clients to acknowledge our particular responsibility as public defenders um, as we walk into courts, um, we walk into police precincts, we walk into ACS meetings, we walk into immigration court, wherever our clients have to go um, and stand in the face of these oppressive systems. Our responsibility to stand with them, acknowledge that Black Lives Matter, um, embody that in the work that we do in the way that we work with our clients um, and acknowledge that for ourselves, also within our offices and the way we interact with our colleagues and all black people. Um, so I'm, I just wanna say welcome. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get things started. So just to give you guys an idea of what's happening today, we're gonna have, we're gonna hear from a few people here and then we're gonna head to the 42nd precinct. We're gonna go up 161st Street at about 3.30. Um, and then the goal is to make it for those who are going to Foley Square um, by 4.45, 5 o'clock. Um, so that we can join with public defenders across the city um, in honoring black lives. Um, shout out to the Black Public Defenders Association as Woo! well. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and get started with uh, Jay Beyonce Johnson from uh, NDS, Neighborhood Defender Services. Good evening, everybody. I'm Jay Beyonce Johnson with the Neighborhood Defender Service, and I'm a criminal attorney there. Um, I'm thankful to be working with the Neighborhood Defender Service because of their holistic representation model, and I personally know the effects of what this legal system does. And I believe that NDS does work to mitigate, if not completely protect our clients from the ills of this legal system. Now, I decided to become a criminal defense, defense attorney based upon my life experiences, a public defender specifically. And one of my first awakening moments was outside of my personal experience was in 2011 when Troy Davis was executed. Now, right now, this is a lot of people's first awakening. And I appreciate that. I love it. But we must never forget. We must remember the names of the slain. We must remember Sean Bell, Oscar Grant, Tamir Rice, Sandra Bland, Akai Gurley, Mike Brown, Eric Gardner, 
Stephon Clark, Breonna Taylor, and George Floyd, and many, many, many other names. They mattered yesterday, they matter today, they will matter tomorrow, and they will matter forever. My name is Gene Padilla, and I'm a parent advocate with the Bronx Defender's Office. I acknowledge my privilege. There's a lot of things that I want to say, but I wrote this down so I don't go about the, on a tangent about the many issues our communities face. I was born and raised in the Bronx, and I spent my entire life living here. I grew up down the block from the courthouse and went to high school in the Grand Concourse. That means I had to pass through these courthouses every day, not only dealing with the trauma of walking past these courthouses and knowing what the system does to black and brown folks, we also have to deal with the trauma of being over-policed in our communities. This is why we need to defund any and all institutions that commit any act of violence against our communities yes. and members of our community. Yes. We, we need to defund the NYPD. We need to defund ICE. We need to defund the foster system. We need to defund the Department of Correction and any other agents that commit violence against our communities. We need to divest in those, those funds. We need to divest those funds that are going into these agencies and invest those funds in our communities. Let's focus on what's important and what will actually keep our community safe and healthy. Let's increase funding so that children in the Bronx and similar communities can have access to adequate and quality education like Billy from the Birds. Increase funding in our community and our rec centers so that children can have a safe outlet and a, and a place where they can build a sense of community. Let's increase the funding in our rental assistance and public housing programs and our shelters so that members of the community are not being evicted and have a place that they can call home and feel safe. Let's invest in our, ho our hospitals and our healthcare systems so that people can get the appropriate and affordable medicine. And before I go, Everyone, I just want to uh, leave you with a quote from the great and honorable Marcus Garvey. If you have no confidence in self, you are twice defeated in the race of life. With confidence, you have won before you even started. And I say we must have confidence. Confidence that this movement will liberate our community. Reason why incredible messengers are out here today. You Give your know. name. Taisha Jackson. Good afternoon, everybody. My name's Taisha Jackson. Um, my name is Executive Director of Incredible Pamela Messengers. We out here. Me and my board member Antonio Collins. Yeah. yeah. I'm killing black people. I'm taking masks in my bag, like. Tell me the name of your band. Jesus Christ, what our band is hey, called Sunflower Bean. What's it called? Sunflower Bean. Sunflower Bean. And you guys are out here doing what today? We're giving out free supplies. We have um, packages with information where you can get legal help, eye flush, snacks, earplugs, masks. And this is a realistic question. Yeah. Why is that on your arm? Uh, this is in case we get arrested or if anything happens, we have a street medic number and a legal number. That is smart. But in New York protesting, it is definitely a need. Yeah, this is right now. Yeah. And uh, we're going to go drop off. We're going to give you some waters and some Gatorades for when more people show up here. That's what's up. We're just following the lead. Because we have a, since we're a band, we have a large vehicle. So oh. we're, we're and where can we find you? Just everywhere. Sunflower Bean, we're on Spotify. Yeah. Yes. What's your name again? Sunflower Bean. 
Like the food. Bean. Nice. Nice, yeah. nice. All right. Like the little bean ice cream. That's yeah. my favorite. Yes. <laughs> so I'm going to look you all up. Yeah, I'm going I'm to friend you from my like YouTube you channel, YouTube. and I'll put this up, and we'll collaborate on this posting. Okay, should we go to the car and just leave some waters here? Jake's getting Gatorade and water to sprinkle first. Oh, Gatorade. Yeah. This is amazing. Yeah. 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 Thank you. 
Mama!